Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. It's been a little while since we covered a bookmark manager, and I've recently started using one called Anybox. Now, Anybox is one of those rare applications where I start using it, and within a day or so, I realize it's going to completely help my workflow so much, I'll buy a subscription to it straight away. That's what I did with this. Because as well as being able to manage bookmarks for your web browsers, it can open web pages from anywhere by typing just a few keystrokes. It's got a variety of ways of getting bookmarks in and out of the app. It covers bookmarks for files and images, as well as websites and so much more. And I'm going to do all I can to cover it all in this one video. Right, we'll kick off by looking at where we can get it from and how much it costs. Now, I'm on the anybox.app web page here. And if I click on pricing, I can see the pricing options. You can use Anybox for free, and it does, as you would expect, have a restricted feature set, whereas the pro version on the right has everything that you need to use the app fully. And it offers pricing for monthly and yearly subscriptions, as well as a lifetime one at the bottom. I do have to say on my main account, I did buy the lifetime subscription because looking at all that you can do with it now is clearly an application that can do a lot and it's going to do a lot more. So I wanted to lock that in. And the account that I'm recording this video on is going to use the free trial of the pro version, which you get for seven days. So you are going to see all of the features today. Now to download, you can click download here. It's just a link to the Mac App Store. Now I have already installed it, but I can see that there's another update already for it. So I'm just going to pause and get that update installed. And we're back. So I installed the update and this is the first time that Anybox has been run on this user account. So I'm seeing what you're going to see when you first run it as well. And that's a simple quick start tutorial. It's pretty interactive actually and useful. So behind us, we have a blank canvas, but I'll click start. And we're told how we can save links both inside and outside of the app. And if I click on save some links and continue here behind us, we now have six links that have been added in as part of this quick start guide. And it's pretty good because if I want to assign a shortcut to quickly find a bookmark, I can assign that here. And there are buttons to try the features straight away as well. I'll click continue. And just to mention, AnyDoc is a floating menu bar that persists on the screen and it contains bookmarks that you assign to a certain profile. We're certainly going to cover that later. This is the default AnyDoc bar that we're given. Here it just explains that your bookmarks are going to be housed in collections or smart lists. There is a quick save feature that allows you to quickly get a web page into AnyBox. And again, you can set a keyboard shortcut for that here. You can set a keyboard shortcut to automatically get the URL of a current tab for pasting in. And then finally, we have some useful links there. I'm going to click done though, and we're in the AnyBox interface. I'm just going to hide this AnyDoc bar here by clicking on the cog and then at the bottom here, or I could use Command and D for that. AnyBox is very big on keyboard shortcuts for doing most of its actions, which is a big draw for me. Now the interface is actually very simple. We've got a sidebar that contains smart lists, collections, and more that we will cover when we build it up a little bit. And in the main window, the bookmarks that are contained in whichever smart list or collection is highlighted in the sidebar. So these ones here are bookmarks I have added today. Then along the top, we've got a series of icons in the toolbar for carrying out actions. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.